All right, continuing onwards in this part three video or whatever. So in the other side, a new water line runs up through over to here. As you've seen before, no leaks. Now we come to my crazy contraption here. Uh, water comes in, as you've seen before, put to here. I had a baby leak here yesterday. Looks like there's just a baby leak still. It's not even like dripping down. That's funny. So I'm just going to tighten this up after the video. Ever so slightly, because it, it doesn't need much. Filter works great. Goes down, around, flushed that out yesterday. Took a bit, but got it done. Set up the new water softener. Um, I only bought one bag of salt, which obviously isn't enough. Um, what else? Oh, I made this, I like this. So I got my little discharge hose for the excess. It goes into the exhaust for the ejector pit. Um, I have it through a shark bite adapter. And then in case of emergencies, if the basement's flooding or I gotta use something, I can just pop it out. Well, seems to be water in the line. That's fine. And then boom, I can just shove water down there, do whatever I want. Not that bad. All right. Um, I like this setup. I don't know why. I'm sure someone's gonna yell at me. I got it exit up. I put the shutoff valve up there because I felt like it. I could have put it all the way down here, but I just like it up top. Um, that way, if I'm draining it, I drain more water out or however. So we go back up. Shoots up and over. I'm gonna put. I got a support here. I'm gonna probably put another support there just to like lift it off that wood. We come over to a T. So the cold water comes here. It goes a little squiggly that way and that way. This way goes obviously right to the water heater. And then it also feeds this way to um, the bathroom, first floor bathroom. And then the outside spigot. So I am softening the outside spigot. But I really don't use it much, so it doesn't matter. And um, that's kind of it. That was, that was my build. Uh, like I said, the only little leak I have is that one connector. I was pretty impressed. Um, I gotta say, using Propex has been amazing. Um, <clears throat> honestly, the only part that ever I've had issues so far with is anywhere there isn't Propex as the connection. Uh, like this... Uh, copper threaded with the tape. It's, <laughs> everything else has been perfect and so easy. Uh, finding Propex is a pain without going directly to a um, supply house. I, you know, I can't pick it up at Home Depot or anything like that unless it's a half inch. But otherwise, I was, I'm pretty happy with it. So far, successful. Um, my next thing I'm probably going to do is get the, uh, oh, should point, the shower set up, finished. Um, make sure that this is, well, I'm probably going to leave this until I get the cabinet and I can line it up and do stuff. And then same for the toilet, I got a line to run. But I'm going to probably get the shower done, pipe up at least just the tube up there, and then I'm, I got the electrical run. So honestly, next it's like, it's kind of doing drywall for a lot of stuff. Ce ceiling tile is literally the last thing, but I can, I'm can i at the point where I can drywall the ba rest of the walls, the, the basement, wall this off, uh, this little room. i got to figure out what I'm doing for the flooring still. And I'm probably going to do, well, I like blue for bathrooms, it makes sense. Probably going to tile that around the top or something like that maybe it's a per it's a good fit i just don't know if i have enough tile it's actually this is my my bathroom tile from my childhood my mom brought my mama brought so anyways yeah that's it guys um obviously like i said i'm a novice at all this in previous videos um as you can see i'm working around a full basement of toys and goodies um i'm having a garage sale <laughs> in march or whatever when the neighborhood does their garage sale, so I'm going to get rid of a lot of this stuff, and which is going to make drywalling a hell of a lot easier. Unfortunately, I might be drywalling prior to the garage sale, so this might be all in the garage until I can get it going. As you can see, I destroyed that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Like I said, i got to clean this up a little bit. Looks like I'm going to have a lot of spare parts, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
Um, I do have to for this water line. I did run to here, but I got to run all the way through and drill with my spade bit all the way to over here. What I'm actually going to do is uh, extend that PVC or figure out some setup I want to do where I'm actually going to make the shutoff or I'm going to make it connect over here. So if I ever have to replace it, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. That's another thing. So, but it's, it's, it's the future. It's looking good. Obviously it's spidery and you can see it all, all my <laughs> wood chippings hanging everywhere. But, uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. So like I said, again, any sort of comments, suggestions or anything, feel free to uh, let me know. Um, I'm not going to go back and destroy things <laughs> to redo it. But if you got a quick tip or something, I would be more than happy to, uh, work on it. So thanks guys. And, uh,